Hi everybody, welcome back. I finally got my late Christmas book, Christmas present from uh, at Dave Redman and Corey Consmolini. It was worth the wait, guys. Check this out. It's from Cheshire, England. 4.7 ABV, and there's two pints. Let's see what this lovely Iron, iron Maiden that I has. We don't want to wreck the box because we are keeping this box. Okay. Oh, he's packed quite well. Of course, he came all the way from England. Of course, I guess he would have to be. Let's read the back. Trooper, Day of the Dead. Mexico's Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead, is celebrated annually. The holiday celebrates the dead and is a time for people to honor their ancestors and loved ones who have passed away and invite those spirits back into their homes to be part of the family once more. The practic oh, the practice goes back thousands of years in Latin American cultures. One of the most popular parts of the holiday is people turning themselves into skeletons. I like to do that. I did that one time uh, when I was uh, working at Walmart and um, got, a, got uh, scares from a couple of customers, out of a couple of customers, and um, got some compliments as well. It's fun. And I digress. Adorning their appearance with flowers and bright colors. That part I didn't do. Uh, as a result, the Sugar Skull has become an icon of the Day of the Dead and one that Trooper has now paid homage to with a new look for Iron Maiden's legendary mascot, Eddie. I thought this looked like, Day of, like Iron Maiden. In a full Day of the Dead costume, specially created by Iron Maiden. Hashtag Trooper Beer. Facebook, and I'm not sure what the other one is, at Trooper Beer USA, and Facebook, and whatever the other one is, because I don't have my reading glasses on, at Artisanal Beers. Robinson's, I think that's 1838. Okay, brewery. Yay, guys. And look at this. Bottle. We're going to pause and I am going to get a cup and we're going to do our glass with it and we're going to do a review right here, right now. And this is one that's going to get uploaded immediately. Pause. And we're back. I did it right. And of course, what better one for Eddie than this guy again? Crystal skull, like I said, is gone. Plastic skull is having issues. Cold beer in the room temperature head tends to crack the plastic, and at some point that thing is going to leak. So, without further ado, come on, Eddie. I'm trying not to wreck these. Oh, come on, please don't tell me, twists. Be very, very careful. Mm. It's it's got a nice nose to it. Okay, let's pause again so I can get my reading glasses. There's more on this than than I thought. Hold on, and we're back again. Okay, the change of the light. Oh, I'm sorry. Onward, onward rode the god, a world of 600, the charge of the Light Brigade, which inspired the Iron Maiden song, The Trooper, took place at the Battle of Balaclava, I think, 1854, during the Crimean War, when 600 British cavalry courageously charged the massed Russian artillery. 
This gallant but foolhardy assault resulted in a massive loss of life and came up, came about to a misunderstanding of an order given by the commanding officer, Lord Raglan. Launched in 2013, Trooper is an award-winning premium British beer that has sold over 15 million pints worldwide. Iron Maiden vocalist Bruce Dickinson worked with Robinson to develop a beer which has true depth of character. Malt flavors and citric notes form a unique blend of Bobic, Goldings, and Cascada, Cascade hops dominate this deep golden ale with a subtle hint of lemon. Best before and see neck. Okay. Robinson's promotes sensible drinking. For further info, visit drinkaware.co.uk. Well, again, 4.7 ABV. So this was an, a collaboration with Iron, the, one of the members of Iron Maiden. Just like with Death Wish Coffee of Odin Force was made for Zach Wilde. Rockstar's rule in some cases. Okay, let's just go ahead and It reminds me kind of of the Hobgoblin from Witchwood, although if I remember correctly, I think that was a ruby red grapefruit. I don't remember because I don't remember if we did a review for that one or not. I've done, like I said, I've done so many. Yes, it is um, sweet and fruity. They didn't mention a note. It, to me, it has a, a slight honey note, which wasn't mentioned, but that could, just could be my taste buds. Mm. I'm getting a bit of lemon, but for some reason, also honey, kind of a honey flavor, which again, honey is not mentioned, but to me, I'm tasting it. It's, taste, it's tasting like that to me. It's nice, well-rounded. Comp, very complex. You can taste all the flavors, all of the notes that they mentioned, and they're so intertwined, you can't really pick one out, which is good. Sometimes you don't, necessarily want to be able to take them all out sometimes you want it all to be together and it's been a while since I've had a good English beer we, uh, I believe Hobgoblin was one of the last ones I had and that's been a few years so we need to try and find a way to get to World Market or order some online so we can delve more into the English brews because I do like those just as much as the American brews because there's nothing like a good English ale Is it sessionable? Yes. But considering it's limited edition, it's going to be very hard to get. Um, so it would be a good thing to give as a gift, which I got mine as a gift from Dave Redderman and Corey Kuntz. Mulvaney. Um, so it's always fun when your family gets you. <laughs> they said they saw this and they thought of me. I wasn't quite sure what to think because I know one time, like I said, I'd gone shopping with Corey and we were looking at sipping cream, which is basically moonshine and cream, kind of a southern, deep, maybe like a deep south version of a Irish cream. Excuse me, which I have yet to try. I have to fork up the courage to get that. Can they have it at Webster's one of these days when I'm in the mood? We will do that. But 
this is the most thoughtful gift. It's what, you know, I love my friends and family. All of the gifts I've gotten over the years have been, well, I haven't really gotten, <laughs> uh, have been, have been thoughtful, but this, since I've been getting ready to move, and since the move out here, you know, all of you guys have, this has been like the best yet. All of, you know, I don't want to mention names per se. You know who you are. I love all of you who've given me gifts for birthday or Christmas or housewarming. And they're very, very appropriate. <laughs> and I love it. It just makes me so happy and so appreciative. I would be, you know, wouldn't, you know, even if they, you know, it was something that I, may or may not particularly vibe with, I would still love it because it's the thought that counts. And these get me, these are, you know, the, these things that you guys have given me so far, you totally get me. <laughs> Thank you so much. Again, Trooper Day of the Dead from Cheshire, England, um, imported by Artisanal Imports, Austin, Texas. Again, collaboration with Iron Maiden. Um, if you can find them, by all means, check them out. It's definitely worth it. It is worth the wait. I had to wait a couple of months to get this gift. And it was worth every week, every minute, every day. It was worth the wait. So if you can afford it for yourself, look them up and get you some. Um, update on stuff. Like I said, like I said, the bloomers are on the way. Um, my bed is going to be probably the 28th. My sister gave me a new set of sheets, so I'm going to have to wash those. <laughs> um, because she's going to expect those to go on the bed. They're baby blue, but that's okay. I can work with it. Um, that's pretty much it for now. Um, I have a couple of things I want to order, but I have to wait. I talked to my new tax preparer, and it looks like hopefully my identity theft snafu with the scam artist will be, so hopefully this will be the year that it's finally resolved and I will get the money that I'm due. And then next year I'll be able to work with Weta to work on getting a house and maybe even before that. So fingers and claws crossed. We, we're ever closer to getting a house. In New Mexico, we were fairly close because credit score came up, took a dip, came back up again. Um, still didn't have the exact amount, the two, the 2000, we'll get the 2k. We will get that. I have a good, I have good feelings. Every, every good feeling about it, that we're going to get it, that. our time because well, when I was living in Albuquerque, I had a good feeling that by next year or so this year, next year time frame would be good for a, for a house, mobile home, whatever. So again, keep your good thoughts coming guys and gals and ghouls and monsters of all shapes and sizes. We're, we're getting closer, getting closer. Again, to wrap this up, Trooper Day of the Dead. Ale, and it's a special. It's a special edition label. Again, um, very sessionable, very rounded, very complex, very easy on you know. It's not you know. It's not hoppy. It's not bitter. It's very very smooth, and you can taste all the flavors. They work so well together. So intertwined. You can taste the lemon, but because of the way everything's mixed together. 
I'm getting a bit of a honey vibe that's probably not there, but that's just my taste buds. So give them a check. Again, I guess give them a check. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, give them a check. Yeah, sure, give them a check. <laughs> Write them a check for a, a, a box of this stuff, whatever. Uh, check them out is what I mean. Check them out if you can. Um, I will keep you posted on everything as it happens. Uh, I have another review that I was going to put up for a key lime, key lime and tequila ghost. Um, I haven't put it up yet, but it can wait because this is going to go up first because I told you about, I, about this. We've been waiting. So this, this guy, Trooper's coming up today. Soon as I get done talking, I'm going to upload this and you will see it. So again, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want more random stuff like this. Again, this is this basically how, you know, that's pretty much the kind of thing I go for with try or try to with the coffee, the alcohol, snacks, either unusual or darkly inclined slash gothic pop, you know, metal kind of thing. That's my vibe. That's what I try to go for. I digress at times, but we all have to, we have other things we like as well. So that's it. I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys. Bye.